You know, today's total solar eclipse brought crowds of over 100,000 astronomy fans to some parts of the country that normally see only a few hundred people. The results? Massive traffic jams, sold out hotel rooms, and a gigantic economic windfall. Not to mention a whole lot of fun. Here's ABC's David Wright. Today, America stood still, spellbound by a cosmic pas de deux. And it was easy to see how, for some people, once in a lifetime is not enough. Suddenly you're aware this is happening, this is real. People are feeling the hair standing up on the back of their neck. You're standing in the shadow of the moon. And like this phrase, standing in the shadow, people write poems about that line. Like, Through the Pink I, Floyd music. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> One of many classic songs, Eclipse. And everything under the sun is in it's like a little kid that has to watch his mother go away and just dis disappear. Like, that's scary. You know that it should be there. And luckily it comes back. But because it's so unnatural, I think the experience is one which you can't replicate in any other way. People get hooked on eclipses. This is my 11th total solar eclipse. This was number 12 for me, folks. My 12th total eclipse. They call themselves umbrophiles, eclipse chasers. Three, two, one, there it is! Gallivanting around the world. Look at the chromosphere, the ruby red color. Chasing the moon's shadow. Never gets old for you? No. <laughs> no. I will be chasing for the rest of my life. I absolutely know it. Kate Russo doesn't just chase eclipses. She helps other communities prepare for people like her. Really try not to be on the roads if you can. We caught up with her in Torrington, Wyoming, where town officials were approaching this day with a mixture of excitement and dread. It's a huge deal. I don't think there's anything to compare it to. Out on Main Street, the local H&R block has transformed into a pop-up eclipse store, selling t-shirts, tote bags, and glasses. And I would imagine that you're thrilled that the eclipse is in April 15th. Exactly. If, <laughs> if it was April 15th, we would not be selling t-shirts. <laughs> it's been more than a century since there was a total eclipse in Wyoming. The last one was a very big deal, too. Author David Barron chronicles that in his bestseller, American Eclipse. The eclipse of 1878 was experienced much like the eclipse of 2017. Scientists knew that it was coming. The path of that eclipse went right through the American frontier, the Wild West. And among the scientists who went out to witness it, a young inventor named Thomas Edison who came back with a big idea. I do think if Edison had not gone to Wyoming to see a total eclipse in 1878, he probably would not have been the first person to come out with a successful incandescent light bulb. Four decades later, a different total eclipse gave astronomer Arthur Eddington proof of Einstein's general theory of relativity by closely observing a constellation of stars. He gave the strongest evidence that we have that that gravity was bending light, yeah. And that's crucial to the theory of relativity. That was very crucial to showing general theory of relativity. In another small town in Wyoming, they're wondering how they're going to get through all this. We're in Glendo? Glendo, Wyoming, yes. Population? 200. 200 people plus 100,000 eclipse viewers. Yes. Wow. The town now has a one-to-one -one ratio of porta potties to people. No hotel rooms here. The visitors all watching. This is so packed. Farmers are charging $20 to park in their fields. They're the center of the universe. That's right. For we're the center. minutes. For two minutes and August. 28 seconds, <laughs> we're the center of the universe. And oh, what a two minutes and 28 seconds it was. David Barron says more than anything, this is a moment of wonder. The closest thing on Earth to space travel. There's a certain amount of sadness that it's over. It was so brief and so beautiful. He was in Jackson, Wyoming, catching the cosmic light show from a mountaintop, 10,000 feet up. It's that feeling of, of being in the presence of something much larger than yourself that humbles you. The path of this total eclipse cut right through those rural red states within driving distance of big blue metropolises like Denver and Chicago. You know, this is a shared moment for all of us as Americans for something that's 
not a natural disaster, not a school shooting, not an election we're fighting about, but something we can all get excited about. And I think this, it's important for the nation to have this moment of unity. A polarized nation sharing something awesome. Today, we all looked up in wonder. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Glendo, Wyoming. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.